Allen just single-handedly keeping the Grizzlies in this thing. He has four of the Grizzlies' six three-point makes as we approach two minutes remaining in a fast-moving first quarter. Monk starts his move, goes up under. Jang collects the rebound for the Grizzlies. Malik Monk had been uh, in the doghouse. Not anymore. Tyus Jones misses the three. Rebound Bridges. Yeah, they, they have allowed him to get the opportunity to play a little bit more. You, they've seen the old Malik Monk. Grizzlies can John, run here. Yeah, John Conchar leading the break, but the foul was taken out on the floor by Miles Bridges. It's the first and the last two against Charlotte. In fact, it's their first foul of the quarter. Grayson, as you said, four for four. You mentioned it from that angle there on the three-point line. And so the Grizzlies are not going to get enough stops, so you better find offense. And Grayson providing it here early. Conchar, who had a good game down in Charlotte on the floor. Tyus Jones will try that same angle, and that's where the gold is, folks. That left wing three, and the Grizzlies seven of 12 from distance, and they've gotten back within three. A three-point shooting has hurt the Grizzlies in the last four games, but tonight they are riding three-point shooting. With just 10 paint points, now well, they have 21 from beyond the arc. KFC Bucket Chart presented by your hometown KFC. Grizzlies have rallied from 10 down to get within three. Grayson Allen handling it, loving that left angle just above the break, as they say. The, the thing with, for the Grizzlies, if you're playing against the Grizzlies, the one thing you want to take away is the paint. You want to force this team to continue to have to fire from behind the arc. And right now, Grayson Allen killing one spot all the dots in the same spot hey listen if you you feel a rhythm keep getting to the hot spot why not why not let's go over to rob fisher well grayson allen's season high of points is 20 he's got 12 here in the first quarter but he does have a season high in a game now four three-pointers made here in this first quarter season yeah. high for grayson allen now well, he played so well in orlando shot 48 percent from three in the seeding games And he did not play, you'll remember, in the game at Charlotte. Had a sprained ankle. Lamelo Ball. Tillman flies by. Ball, nice drop off. The Grizzlies knock it away. Tyus Jones on the take. Grayson, another three. You're getting to Mike Miller territory when you think all of them are going to go in. <laughs> the Hornets made a much more of a concerted effort to contest that three than the other ones. Tripping foul on Grayson Allen. P.J. Washington back in. Yeah, Grayson hasn't had an opportunity really to get some consistent run because he, he missed four with health and safety protocols. Also, the sprained ankle has cost him some games. This is the 20th game for the Grizzlies. He's missed six. Caleb Martin to the free throw line. Grizzlies over the limit. They've need, they needed his hot shooting here in his first quarter. Yeah, well, they're going to they're going to need for him to continue to make shots throughout the game. And, and the one thing where the Grizzlies have struggled during this four game losing streak has been the offensive lows, where they have gone extended minutes without getting baskets. And so if Grayson can stay in his rhythm, then gives him another option on the offensive end. Both free throws down. Here it is again, his little passive three-quarter court pressure by the Hornets just to slow the Grizzlies down offensively, work a little bit of the clock. Jang with the screen, Morant with the bucket, his second of the game. Ja with four and three assists. And a long lead ahead for Miles Bridges. Grizzlies did not get back defensively. 
24 paint points for Charlotte. Somehow the mellow ball and Bridges, they just have that feel for where one another is on the floor. Some nifty handles by Morant, had it blocked, but to draw a foul, and John will go to the line with 24.5 for the quarter. Caleb Martin, the foul, his first. Talked about Morant having to be a little bit more assertive for this Grizzly team. We saw him do a good job of the last shot that he made, not having to get all the way to the rim, but the nice little floater before he got to the next defender, and that's something that he's going to have to continue to incorporate in his game. Get you an open shot right in around that 10, 12-foot area instead of a contested shot at the rim. Rozier and Hayward come in for what is almost presumably to be the final shot of the first quarter, so they get a couple shooters in there. Desmond Bain is going to come in for the Grizzlies. He'll replace Tillman so they can match up a little bit better. The other thing, too, with Ja is the four other guys have to be able to read what he is doing and not leave him on an island and make sure that they provide him with some support, with spacing, and an opportunity maybe to roll into a scoring position and allow a distribution of the basketball. It would be nice for them to get some other people that are consistently scoring the basketball so that at least you have to shield and move a little bit more towards those other players. Fractional different shot clock, the game clock, LaMelo ball with eight. Clock at three, his three is off the mark. Hayward battles for it and that'll do it for the first quarter. Did Rob Fisher say that you